how to convert Shopify store into a mobile application. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can convert your Shopify store into a mobile application. Now, we all know Shopify as the world's leading e-commerce tool, which allows us to build amazing, amazing stores with a few simple and easy steps. Now, becoming a brand is really tied to your brand identity and having your own brand identity means having your own application. So with Shopify, you can use a few simple and easy applications to help convert your store into a mobile application, which can provide the feeling of exclusivity for your brand. And it can provide you with far more uh, recurring customers because they would think they already have your application. They might as well look through your application to see what new do you have or what new product are you launching. So let's get started. To get started, simply log on to your Shopify store and then click on settings on the bottom left. Once you do that, click on apps and sales channel. Once you do that, click on Shopify app store on the top right. Once you click on the app store on the top right, you're going to search for mobile app builder. And once you search for that, you will see several different mobile app builders. So this includes One Mobile, Shopney, Evlop, Aptile, Hulk Mobile. There's also Vatro. So you have quite a few different options. You also have Aptile, Hulk Mobile, Simicar, Tap Day, and many other tools. Now in these, we have two, such as Evlop and One Mobile, which are built specifically for Shopify. Personally, I like all of these, but depending on your personal needs and preferences, you might vary because for One Mobile, their free plan includes one theme, five design blocks, one customizable screen, and four default screens. And then if you want to, you know, upgrade and include more features, you can upgrade for $29 a month. And if you take a look at Shopney, they only have paid plans and they're quite a lot more expensive than some of the other tools, but they have multiple different languages, easy to integrate with multiple elements with scheduled notifications and multiple design elements. Then you have Evlop. Evlop again has a free version where you have a native Android and iOS app with unlimited design blocks, customized landing pages, menus, and real-time sync with your Shopify store. This is personally my favorite because it provides you with the most value even on the free plan if you're just trying out the mobile application version. Fourth on our list, we have Vatro. Again, this is one of my personal favorites because although their price is pretty high and hefty, you will actually see they have a lot of different features with a 30-day free trial included, so you can definitely check this out as well. We're going to be using Elflip because it is one of the most easiest ones to use. If you want to take a look at Aptile, again, it's a really good tool with pretty decent pricing and over 100 standard design tiles for your basic mobile application on their lowest tier. So we're going to go with Elflip because I do think that for starters, it's best to opt for something that's going to be free and then you can see whether or not this type of growth is ideal for your store. Once you do that, click on install. Once you click on install, you're going to click on install once more. And once you click on install once more, this will be installed onto your Shopify store. Now you're going to pin this on the left. And once you pin this to the left, it just makes it easier to access. And once we have installed our application, we can proceed with building. So I'm just going to wait. And once this has been installed, we're going to see over here, we have our basic app customization, which we can get started with. So you have to connect your you know, iOS or Android developer account. And once you do that, you can click on customize app on the left to get started. Now, once you do that, you are going to see on the left, you have your home page and all the different pages that you normally would have on your regular website. And you will have your page layout side menu footer and header for the mobile version and a mobile preview. So this is our home page. We have best selling products, new arrivals, product lists. I can click on add section to add another section and we can see all the free sections as well. Now, one limitation is that if you want to add, you know, things such as recently viewed products or blog articles or text sections, you can't add these, but I am going to remove a couple of these items because I only have one product in my store so I just want a product list and I'm going to click on add section and I'm going to add an image slider then I'm going to move this up on my home page click on this and we can select the images we want to display and I'm just going to upload 
a couple of our brand images. So I'm just going to go into our brand catalog and upload a couple of images. Now, once our image has been uploaded, you guys can see one thing that the image is being cropped out on the top a little. So I think ideally I should go with an image where the main content wouldn't be cropped out like this. And I'm going to resize this so it fits better on a mobile screen like this. And then I'm going to click on use this image and I'm just going to wait for the upload and see how I like this. And then, yeah, this looks much better and I can add the title, shop your color, and then we can add a description. We can also add a action. So if someone clicks on this header, what would this lead to in our mobile application? I'm just going to leave it as a normal section. And once I've done that, I can go into my side menu, which is all products, collection, search, cart, wish list, and then we have our footer and our header, which looks fine. Once I do that, I'm going to click on save on the top so my changes are saved. And I can go into my product page and you guys can see this is what my product list is going to look like and it's going to be displayed as it normally would. Some of these customizations are only limited to the premium version, so keep that in mind. Once we do that, we can set up push notifications. We can go into our app settings too. Uh, you can see you can configure this information to you know, customize how the app is going to be shown on the person's device. The app name is Lily, and then we can upload our icon that we want to use for our brand. And I'm just going to open up our icon like so, and then click on use this image. And this is what it would look like on an iOS device. Below that, you can add your brand images and colors, and I'm just going to click on save. Then we can go into features and we have certain features that are limited to the starter or professional version and certain free features such as reviews, which you can also integrate. Then you also have third party integrations, which you can add as well. And then you also have your app publishing. So you can proceed with request iOS build and you can um, go into the Android app builder, build and upload to your Play Store. You can also build your Android APK and your Android AAP. And once you do that, you can upload your particular application on to Google Play Store and the iOS app store. And just like that, you will have a mobile version of your Shopify store. And if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those also leave those in the comment box down below and i will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video